Welcome to Radiation Island. October 28, 1943, somewhere in the Devil's Sea. I do not know what's going on. It's a little freaky. Some green stuff. That must be the radiation. Alrighty, my name is Norm Dew, and welcome to a new Let's Play, Radiation Island. Use the right screen, move ahead, okay. Let's pick up an item. It looks like we have hunger bar and we have a health bar. If our hunger is low, that hurts us. Tap anywhere to continue. Items which you can gather all around the world. Tap on the pickup icon to collect them. Nice. Fine food. Okay. This must be our inventory. Tap the same item again to consume it. Notice that consuming food lowered your hunger level. Tap again the backpack button or anywhere outside to close the inventory. Okay, pick up the fint and the twigs from the ground. Wow, I am really liking these graphics so far. That is pretty awesome. Um, yeah. Now tap the highlighted crafting button to open the crafting panel. Sheet for the highlighted stone axe. Ooh, an axe. You can see in the screen the needed ingredients for the selected item. You can also tap the ingredients to open their crafting information. So we take a flig and a flint to make a stone axe. So we create it here. Now tap anywhere outside the crafting interface to close it. The quick slots bar at the bottom provides an easy way to access critical items. Tap anywhere to continue. Oh, we drop, drag that down. Now just tap the stone axe icon on the bottom slots bar to equip it. I thought it was equipped, but okay. Now it's equipped. Action buttons are presented on both sides of your screen. They change their icon depending on what you are facing and show the kind of action you can perform. By default, they will fire your equipment, equipped weapon. Tap anywhere to continue. Okay, so this is our little hit thing. Your weapons can be used to harvest different materials. This stone axe can be used to gather lumber by cutting trees. Noise! Well, this is looking good. I am really enjoying these graphics. I mean, just look at that sky. Alright, well, yeah, as I was saying, my name is Norm Dew, and this is a Let's Play I'm starting. I'm on spring break, and I was like, hey, you know what? Let's have fun making some videos. I found this game on the App Store. This is exclusive for iOS, and so I was like, this looks really good. It kind of looks like a Rust kind of game, or DayZ, something like that. A survival game, kind of like Minecraft, where you kind of like fight. Part of the game is using your notebook. It's an icon. It's positioned in the top right corner. When the notebook is open, it will pause the game. Tap the notebook to open it. A notebook. Oh, nice. Areas, map, survival, task list, performance, stats, and settings. Stats right here. Oh, nice. <laughs> Had one meal so far. That's about all I've done. Uh, you can see your overall stats and also flick to different story pages you have uncovered during the game. Two different maps are available, a global overview, one in an area showing more detailed information around you. This is a nice looking island, I kind of like it. Downward to see the area map. The area map will show more points of interest nearby and allow you to place a waypoint marker on it. Tap anywhere to continue, okay. Settings. Various game settings can be changed. You can flick a page to see the language selection panel. Nice. Tap the social, the left, tra what? 
the social panel. Oh, nice. That's cool. Okay, okay. Yada, 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 yada. Close the notebook. Conclude the tutorial. More helps and tips are available during the game in the marked area. All help displayed in those tips can be accessed from the notebook's help section. Tap anywhere to continue. Well, I'm uh, glad I read that because I would have had no idea what's going on. Wow, we can use an axe to break simple rocks. I think that's different than what we have. There are also deposits, but they require more specialized tools for mining. Animals and other being, beings roam around the islands. The buttons at the top left of the screen will indicate their presence around you. So I think that means there's some paw around me at the left there. Tapping it will focus on nearby animals and allow you to track them more easily. Interesting. Tap the focus button to lock on the animal around you. Tapping on the animal in the scene will do the same thing. Okay, I'm walking for some reason. What? What? I guess I'm supposed to tap this. You are now locked onto the hair. Interacting with the camera controls will break the focus, but movement will keep it tap anywhere to continue. Okay, cool. So if I touch this, oh wow, there's different game modes even. The intended way to experience the game, you need to eat to survive, what, exploration? Survival? But different game modes can be started from a notebook. Okay. Hey, bunny bunny. Let's walk towards him. This is kind of cool how I, I don't even have to move to the right or left. I just kind of follow. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Chip, chip. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. Journal task completed. Hunt an animal for meat. Well, sorry about that little hair, but. Oh, what? <laughs> is he still alive? <laughs> I think. <laughs> Something's wrong. Oh, wow, that looks painful. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you, man. I mean, that... Th I kind of twisted you up, didn't I? <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, it looks like we can pick up... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pick up this meat by tapping on that. Plus one meat. Nice. It looks like I'm full, too. That's good. These controls are very nice. I'm quite liking it. Everything is very nice. I mean, look at the graphics. Oh, I'm liking this. So yeah, anyways, back to kind of the intro, uh, this is Radiation Island, and hopefully this will be a new Let's Play I'll have on my channel. I'm thinking to do a video every Monday and Friday, and that is basically going to be kind of a new thing. Basically, I'm going to be recording this all through my spring break, which I'm on right now. We have a really early spring break at my school, and so... Um, yeah, I'm going to be recording it now, and then I'll be putting it up throughout the weeks. So it should be fun. What is this? I think that was a twig, maybe. Oh, stink. Is it getting dark? I do know there's zombies in this. Um, so... I don't really know anything else. Oh, whoa. Did I hit something? What is this? We got some twigs. Meat. Okay. Oh. Oh, great. Yeah, the controls... It's going to take a little bit of time to get used to the controls, because it is touch controls. Sensitivity is just a little strange. You can only sleep during the night. Interesting, I can sleep. I think I should stay here for the night. Oh, is this what I hit? So this is like a crafting table of some sorts. Oh, so I just ate a pineapple. Awesome. Twigs, yada yada. Is there, what is that? Oh, I think that was, if I think right, if I look in, yep. So I just gave away, I just put some of my stuff in here. Oops. So this stuff on the right, oh wow, we got a lot of fish. Let's take that, and what is this? My inventory is really small, to be honest. That kind of stinks. Wood, gathering by cutting trees using axes, using, using it as an ingredient for crafting many items, and also as fuel for the furnace. Make sure you don't run out of it. Wow, so that's all the things wood can be used for. That's quite a lot of things. Oh, wow. We got armor, it looks like. We're probably going to have to get some of this. Or am I in the... Uh, 
manual right now. Oh, I want that hat. You see this hat? Wool cap. Crafted from wool, it keeps the head warm and offers weak protection against injury. <laughs> how does that how does that give any protection is my question. Interesting. Um hmm. Well anyways. Um Oh, what do we have here? Three one four one five nine. Is this some kind of clue of some kind? Craft and place a storage case. That's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, so this is all the things that I can do. Kill a zombie. Find a revolver. Wow, we have a long journey ahead of us, boys. This looks like a lot of stuff to do. Um, is there anything else I need? I don't get what this is on the, my side here. What's my health bag? Oh, no, that's just showing my health. Yeah, right. So this is how I create stuff, if I remember right, if I was paying attention. It looks like we can maybe make this. Titanium pickaxe. We need titanium. Okay. Okay. What can we build next? We need two flint and two wood. Okay, we, we're going to want that to get some rocks. And this is twigs. How? I guess that's different from wood, supposedly. Oh, okay. I can't get that. I think we need more trees then. Let's get some more trees. Yeah, this is kind of like Minecraft. Nice. Whoa! <laughs> I did not. Okay, disappearing tree. I did not see that one coming. All right. Did I not pick up any of that stuff, or was that just twigs? What is this? Medicine. I probably should eat this just to give me some room. Hopefully I can pick up some wood. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so when it does that green thing, that's me moving towards it. Trying to figure out the controls completely. Okay, so I just picked up... I thought that was wood. Apparently that was twigs of some kind. Oh, I got wood down here, I see. We need to pick up some flint now so we can then get rocks before it gets dark. Because I see some... Oh, it's getting dark. Yeah, it's getting dark, all right. Wow, these graphics are quite impressive for, you know, an iOS game. It uses the, um, the new iOS 8 um, API Metal. If you guys have heard of that, it's supposed to have really good graphics. and I mean, it does, yeah. Okay, it's not dark yet. What am I doing, you little scaredy cat? Get out there. Get your flint. And what is this? This is going to be a lot of exploration. Oh, beautiful. This is the map, apparently. So, it looks like we got four parts. Hopefully I can travel across the water at times. Is this flint? I think that was flint. Yep, that was flint. Awesome. I think I should be able to craft this bad boy now. Handyman, craft the pickaxe. Awesome. Now, do I have to drag that? Nope, it's here. Let's go. Oh, stink. Oh, oh, it's getting dark. Never mind. Let's get some more rocks before it gets too dark. Okay, I missed, apparently. So I don't... Oh, I don't get one every time. That's when that little circle comes up. This is cool. Oh. Some more flint. My inventory is so small. Hopefully there's some kind of backpack I can get at some point. Just ate that. Well, no, I have my inventory, and then I have my back, well, my backpack's right here. Oh, this is my armor, apparently, on the left. I have nothing, though. That kind of stinks. And that is definitely something to check out. A big tower here. Interesting. I'm not sure how long this let's play is going to take. It could be, I don't know. Oh, a bear skull. 
I don't think we need that. What was that noise? Did I hear something growling at me? I didn't like that noise, actually. Ooh! We just got ourselves a bow. Oh! Whoa! What was that noise? What in the world? I, I don't like that noise. Do, are you guys hearing this? Are you hearing this? I am going to die. What? What is that? What is going on? Okay, I'm just gonna get that bow and maybe run. Ah, I don't like that. It's scary. Crafted range weapon that uses arrows as ammunition. It has a medium firepower. Okay, no time, no time for explanation. We gotta get arrows. Okay, arrowhead, yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, come on. Never mind, get this. Give me this. Apparently, I, do I not have room or what? Let's eat this. I need room. Um, wow, that really stinks that I'm... What? Okay. I'm kind of freaking myself out. I saw this tree and I automatically think it's something bad, you know? Like, I just kind of do that to myself. You guys are probably going to think I'm like a wump. Okay, so it was just that building that's scary, apparently. Probably something up there. Yeah, you guys are going to think I'm a wump, but I'm telling you, it's scary. <laughs> it's scary when you're playing it. It's scarier than it may seem. Oh boy, the music's come back. The music. I mean, music is just a scary thing. Okay. Come on, give me this bow. There we go. I don't know why it didn't give it to me the first time. And we're going to trade this in for that. And let's drop this down here. Okay. Well, that was good. Um, let's try out this bow, I guess. Whoop! We got a little... Actually, maybe we should go try to kill something. We got this little gun <laughs> button, even though this is not a gun. Pick up some flint. These controls really are good. You guys should definitely try out this game. Definitely. Definitely. I definitely hear some scary noises. I don't know about you. I feel like this is where zombies would be, if anywhere. But don't worry, I got a bow. I'm ready to kill them. What do we got here? A radiation suit. Can I take that? And radiation pills. My. I don't know. I think I might have just ate them. Oh. Um. Where did I just put my suit? Oh, I just put it on the ground. I think. There it is. Nope, nope. Don't touch you. I want that. Okay, so... I now have some kind of radiation suit on. That's probably good. Don't want to really get radiation. And, okay, that was sick. I didn't really see where the arrow shooting though, but it was pretty cool. What do we have up here? This looks like, this game is going to be fun. I'm, I'm sure of it. It's gonna be a bit of wandering maybe, but that's okay. Um, that's what you gotta do in life sometimes. Wander. Okay, we got a good amount of rocks. Let's see. Can I build it? Oh, I can build a... Ah, uh, come on! Inventory, what are you doing? Getting all full on me. I already got a bow, okay. Bullets, wow. Okay, how do you make these? Sulfur, charcoal, lead. Crafted vehicle used for traveling by air. Looks pretty sweet. Hello, did I hear something? What is that? That 
is some kind of animal. Let's go get him. Come on. Oh, wait. That's what I want. I want my bow. Okay, we got our target on him. Is it like a T-Rex of some kind? And fire. <laughs> oh, I killed him. What is it? Oh, wow. I'm, I really got that guy. Oh, come on. Don't be full inventory. Let's eat something or something. Or just junk that. There we go. Get rid of that. And then I want... I want... What do I want? Where did it go? Or is this it? I'm definitely hearing some kind of zombies of some sort. Um, it's a little frightening. Okay, I think I picked it up. Did I? What is this? Iron ore. I, I thought I was... I thought I killed a... Whoa! Okay. Okay, boys. We got our first zombie. Kill him. Uh, first zombie. Boom, baby. <laughs> little zombie, you can't scare me. Actually, it's a little scary. What do we have here? Ah, come on. Inventory. On the first day, my inventory is full. That is a joke. We'll eat some raw meat and maybe... I don't know. Let's just throw that on the ground. I want to see what this stuff is. This is a crystal. Well, that should be good. And what else do we have here? I think that's both meat, possibly. Dang it. And this is... I really need some kind of backpack. Is there a backpack that... Ah! Backpack upgrade. Crafted from leather and twigs. It increases the carrying capacity with one extra row of items. Well, that's a good deal. Okay, it's dark. Let's go. Let's go to home. Let's get back. That is a beautiful sunset, though. I appreciate that. Okay, it is getting really dark here. It is getting really dark. Yeah, I don't like the dark very much. Ah, where am I? Come on, get in there. Get in the house. Get in. Okay, I can't see anything. Oh, oh. <gasps> I see the bed. I see. Yes. Woo. All right. Well, that was our first day of the Radiation Island. I think this is going to be fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. But we're going to stop this episode right here to start day two. And I will see you guys next time.